What's up, Beyond Paranormal fans? I'm Nick D, uh, your host. <laughs> uh, no, I'm the lead investigator, man. I've been doing this uh, for the last probably 12, 13 years. Um, and I posted in the com I posted at, on the Beyond Paranormal page earlier that uh, I would make a short video. I tried to go live three times, and it kept lagging out, so I'm just doing it this the old-fashioned way. So we're just going to sit here and make this video, and I'll post this video after I'm done. But just to give you a little bit of information on the location, uh, this is our investigation tonight. It's called Mary's. We call it Mary's uh, simply because one of the spirits in this place, uh, her name was her name's Mary, uh, she passed away in the house. Um, I found out through some relatives of her who lived down the street from the house, uh, spoke with them. Uh, they told me a little bit about her. And which is crazy because I kind of connect with Mary when I first found out is because uh, I felt like in the room that she passed away and I, I previously have had uh, a heart condition. I have a heart condition. So when I went into her room, uh, I, my, my chest, or every time she comes in, you know, every time she's around, I'm just, my chest gets really tight. So I know she's around and I just, I feel connected with her, uh, which is really cool. Uh, and she's the only spirit that we've documented uh, in a white form. She'll, she's formed a white apparition twice that I know of. Um, I'm not sure if we got a picture of that. I will look into uh, getting some pictures and, of some older investigations uh, of this place. But we've been investigating this place since 2008. Uh, we've investigated this place over 250 times. And what's great about this place is the fact that every time we go, every every time we go something different happens every time. Um, and I love that. Uh, a lot of investigators, you know, they go to a location, you know, it's, you don't want to have, see the same thing. You want something different to happen. And that's what I love about this place is something different always happens. Um, but I, I told you earlier in the post, uh, there was five spirits that we've documented uh, in this place. Uh, ones that we have names on, believe it or not. Um, uh, first, of course, is Mary. I told you a little bit about Mary. She was the second to the last owner who lived in this house. Uh, I personally know the last owners that were in this house, and I'll tell you a little bit of story about them in a little bit. Uh, I'll give you a small, short story of it, and then maybe later I can get an, uh, an interview with them, and y'all can catch some more insight on, uh, on a little bit more in depth of what progressed when they left the house. Uh, anyway, second spirit I want to talk about is Jenny, and she's... She's a little girl. I would say she's about eight years old or so. Uh, she loves trigger objects. Absolutely, is very vocal. She's the most vocal besides the next one I'm going to talk about. Uh, she's very vocal. She loves Kung Fu Panda. We brought Kung Fu Panda toys there. She absolutely loves it. She loves stuffed animals. And she will tell you just absolutely, she just loves it. Um, so this time tonight, when we go tonight, I'm bringing another trigger object. And this is Mort. Mort the Penguin. He's going to be our trigger object tonight, and hopefully uh, hopefully, we can get a, some good video, some good audio. I want to get you some audio of her because, she, like I said, she's very vocal. And she'll say, yeah, and she'll, you know, she'll, you'll hear her you know, make some pretty weird noises, but uh, that's Jenny. Uh, the third one I want to talk about, uh, third spirit, is Jim. He's the cowboy of the group and the biggest... He's just, a, he's a butthole. He is so mean. He is very, very, very mean. He likes to cuss at people. Uh, he likes, he calls you out by your name. He, he, he tells you you're going to die. He's going to make sure you, he's going to end you. He says this stuff, and I have it all on audio, and, and believe it or not, it's some crazy stuff he says. Uh, and I know a lot of investigators, they, I know you've, uh, when you've gone to an investigation, you smell, you know, different smells uh, in, during investigations. Well, with Jim, he has a unique smell. He, ha a lot of you have had old grandfathers and dads and stuff that's worn that cologne that is uh, very strong, like smells like alcohol. And they used to come in like little tr glass trains and little glass boots. And I've seen, I know you've all seen them, and you know what I'm talking about. But that old alcoholic smell. That old alcohol cologne smell, uh, that's Jim to a T. You will smell it every time he comes around. And he's got a big old brimmed hat. And I got some, I got a, like I said, a lot of the videos and stuff of Jim and Jenny and them that I have, 
uh, from an age where it wasn't so digital. <laughs> okay, I have it all in the eight millimeter tapes, which I have to someday transcribe onto a digital format, and I'll do it as soon as I can. I promise. I just got to get some funding, and I got to get some new tech, and I got some new equipment. Uh, but I will do that. Okay, the fourth, uh, it, the fourth, and I'll just say fourth and fifth because they kind of come as a pair, and that's Steve and Aubrey. Aubrey uh, is the wife of Steve. Uh, and she says so in the spirit. We, we used the SB7. Uh, that was really, that worked really great with us. The SB7 did. And hopefully soon I will be having, I will have the, uh, the program made by Huff Paranormal. Uh, shout out to Huff Paranormal, man. Uh, I got to get that stuff. Uh, it's the uh, Ethereal. And uh, I'm telling you, I, I, I cannot wait to get this this program, and I'm going to use it in these locations because it's going to be a game changer, I promise you. Uh, but Aubrey and Steve, Steve is, <laughs> Aubrey will say something, you know, she'll say her name, she'll, she'll answer once in a while, she's kind of to herself, until, and when that happens, Steve will come into the room, and then you won't hear from Aubrey, and Steve will take over and speak for her, and he'll, he, Steve likes, he's the one that kind of likes to tug on your keys, or he'll tug on your shorts, tug on your shirt, he'll tug on you and let you know that he's there, but, uh, but as far as uh, him and Aubrey go, uh, they're not quite as active as I would say Jim or Jenny is, those would probably have to be the two most active spirits on the look that we have documentation of. Uh, as far as the last owners of the house, uh, a little a brief story about them. Uh, they did per, they f- performed a seance with a Ouija board, which I don't encourage anybody to do. I don't care who you are. Me personally, I don't mess with that kind of stuff. Okay, just because I just don't mess with it. Um, and they did the and uh, when they did this. They apparently had a lot of trouble with a dark shadow spirit. And I've known a lot of people have seen shadow men. I've dealt with shadow men my entire life. Uh, I've just seen shadow men everywhere I go, which I haven't, I have to say, cross, knock on, knock on wood, I haven't seen any shadow men in probably three years, which has been great <laughs> considering the last 20 some odd years. That's all I've seen is shadow men, and I don't like them that much. Um, but. There's a shadow man that apparently walks the, uh, the perimeter of the house, and we've come to name him Red Eyes, okay? And the reason being is uh, co-investigator Joey Bullock, uh, who's going with us tonight, uh, you'll see him on video, uh, he's seen him, I've seen him, and Red Eyes is not nice. He makes Jim look like a Care Bear, okay? <laughs> and... Which is why tonight we got, of course, got some white sage. Awesome white sage. Good to have this stuff. I have some holy oil. Uh, it's good to have this stuff. Uh, just because you never know when you need it. Um, but he apparently walks the perimeter of the house and he doesn't like people coming on the property. Okay, the property, uh, I would say, is kind of old just for the simple fact that it, it's on one of the oldest creeks uh, in Harris County, and that's Spring Creek. Uh, you can do research on Spring Creek and uh, the old, back in the Old West, they had the first Prohibition Bar on, uh, on in Harris County on Spring Creek. Uh, in that town, uh, there was uh, in Old Town Spring, uh, a lot of Bonnie and Clyde stories uh, from Old Town Spring, which hopefully we can do an investigation in Old Town Spring. I'll be more on that. I'll put a link down there for that. Um, but this place is just this the, the I believe that the grounds that the house is on is a lot older than the place is, and it's just a mixture of different spirits at this place. But it's so intriguing because, like I said, every time you go to this place, it's something new every time, um, and that's just something we love experiencing. Um, any more questions you might have? Uh, anything I may have left out uh, that I may not know? Feel free to comment below like the video and just be ready because i'm gonna be posting some videos tonight it's investigation time tonight okay it's gonna be some great stuff some great audio great pictures i hope you all check it out thanks for watching again i'm nick d and i'm here let's do this